I'm going to be sharing secrets from my life. One of the questions uh, that preachers ask me all the time is, so I loved the session at the gym and now I'm uh, going back home to get ready for church. Um, I'm gonna be earlier at the building because um, I would say to every pastor and preacher there, please make a priority, your personal time with the Lord. Well, hello and welcome to another vlog. This vlog is very special because, number one, I'm going to be sharing secrets from my life, from how I prepare to how I think about organizational leadership and structure a very special day of the week, which is Sunday. So today is Sunday. Sunday morning and the crew just arrived obviously I've been awake for the last I want to say four hours I did my morning routine that you can watch in this video and then I did my prayer and started preparing for an amazing day ahead today it's a big day because it's a vision Sunday if you know anything about church you know that vision Sunday is the one Sunday of the year where you really focus on casting a vision for what you want to achieve as a church in the new year. New year, new you. New year, new resolutions. New year, new plans. But it's very important to connect your plans to a good strategy because if you don't have a strategy, you might have a plan. You will never be able to accomplish it. So I'm excited about this vlog. Today also we are going to pull the winner from my last vlog, the last challenge, and then I'm gonna get to have coffee or lunch with this person, depending on when we're going to schedule the meeting because actually we are on our annual fast as well. So today is the seventh day of us fasting and praying together as a church. So if I meet you, the winner, probably we're gonna have tea or coffee. But uh, before we continue this day, I'm gonna pray a little more and then I'm gonna move with you to a fast workout just to get my energy up. I know it sounds crazy because I'm fasting, but I do. So I'll, I'll do a little workout and then we get towards the day. One of the questions uh, that preachers ask me all the time is how do I prepare? And it's a very, obviously a very long process to explain in a short vlog, but I would say that my preparation for speaking or for ministry comes primarily out of my personal times of prayer and Bible study. So I would not say that I read the Bible to get a sermon out or I pray to get a message from God. What I do is I just have my time with God and out of that overflow of presence and time with the Holy Spirit, the messages that I'm supposed to speak, uh, that's where they come from. But then before I get to actually speak a message, which is already kind of structured in my uh, iPad, in my notes, um, I have a final prayer, I have a final moment of preparation where I get a list and I usually have a white list of paper, which um, I put horizontally, not vertically, just because your mind works more creatively when you have a horizontal paper. And then I start just throwing out thoughts and ideas and things that are um, being spoken to me uh, by the Spirit as I'm preparing, which many times could be highlights in my message. And uh, many times those things could be, you know, very impactful for, for, for people. So I allow the Holy Spirit to kind of filter the whole message a final time before I get to speak it. So I get to do a little brainstorming, which could last up to sometimes three hours, you know? And then I get the best part of it and add it to my message and sometimes clear some things from the message that maybe I thought would not be as effective or clear. Because one of the most important things in communications um, is clarity. When you're trying to communicate, convey um, a message, 
whether it be through um, a speech or cinema or whatever kind of uh, rhetoric instrument you're using to uh, communicate it's very important to make sure that your message is loud and clear so that's a little bit about um, my strategy of preparation but again I would say to every pastor and preacher there please make a priority your personal time with the Lord and then you'll see how much anointing and wisdom and sermons and ideas will come out of that we are shooting a video we are shooting a video here is your friend Theo He's shooting a video. Say hello. 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 Say I love you guys. I love you. Say I love you to the camera. I love you. I love you. <laughs> yeah. So usually when I wake up early in the morning, they are the first to wake up with me. And I have to lock my door when I pray because they usually want to come in. Sometimes I allow them in, but most of the times I just lock my door and give myself an hour of prayer. <laughs> Кой е пред вратата? А защо сте тук в момента? So we are headed to the gym to do a little workout and I like going to the gym on Sundays because it's nobody there so you can pray and think and do your little workout so it's gonna be great. Day seven, fasting. We are winning. We are fighting. We are the head and not the tail. Above and not beneath. Somebody put an amen in the chat. So I loved the session at the gym and now I'm uh, going back home to get ready for church. Um, I'm gonna be earlier at the building because um, we have new members uh, every month we receive the new members in the church and we um, pray for them celebrate them I meet with them personally and on the way I love to listen to a sermon so obviously I'm listening to my own message it's two times the speed uh, just to kind of review what I have communicated so far and what I have missed, what I want to improve. And one of the things that came to me while listening the very beginning of that message, which is like, um, it's um, shared four days ago, it has 24,000 views. Uh, this year our views on YouTube have exploded. And one of the things that I'm analyzing is the importance of starting with something that sounds a little bit uh, uh, contradictory, or let me even use this word, scandalous. And most of the time I do it on purpose, <laughs> sometimes it just comes uh, naturally. But when you get um, a shock, when you give people a shock, they listen to you like 50% more intently and carefully. So it is proven in public speaking, there are many, many, many studies that uh, have been conducted that prove that every 10 minutes you need to shock the system of your listener because otherwise by the 11th minute they're already forgetting where they are what they're talking what you're talking about so you have to bring people back and if you have messages that are like um, you know this is like one hour and four minutes you really have to have at least five six times in your message where you shock people now it doesn't have to be necessarily something contradictory but it could be a joke 
it could be an icebreaker, it could be uh, asking them to repeat something. I call this an echo, uh, echoing. All of this is very important in communication because in the 21st century, if your sermon is longer than 28 minutes, uh, it's very tough to keep attention. And I preach for over an hour every single week to the same audience on TV, on site and online. So you have to really work on your craft to make it interesting and to make it compelling for people to listen to you again and again and again and again. So as you can see, we are now on the way to the church service. I'm going to meet some of the new members of our church family and spend some time with my leadership team before we begin the service. I'm excited. Hey, just a short pause. It would mean the world to me if you subscribe to this channel. This is why we do what we do. So if you like it, please share it with a friend and subscribe. Идеята е хората да знаят а, коя е втората песен и че към края на втората песен Ина и хората, които ръководят а, самото посвещение, им дават знак и те излизат и се подреждат. Да. Вместо да чакат някой да ги покани. Да, да, да. Те излизат и се подреждат и ние излизаме веднага след като те са се подредили и казваме Добре дошли на църква, ние сме пастор Максим и Теодора. Днес е специален ден, защото всички тези хора са минали първата и втората стъпка към пробуждане, което означава, че те ще станат осветени в църква. Там боксаме бебетата първо, каниме пасторите да се помолят за всички хора. Докато тече а, молитвата и благословението, ние даваме знак, когато сме свършили хората да се отидат по местата. Ръкопляскат им и след това ти правиш няколко анонса, които им за направи. Да. Да, 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 да. Ако сте нови и искате да разберете повече, остани и разбери. Да. Идете на нов съм, за да разберете какви са четирите стъпки към а, пробуждане. А, ако не сте нови, но също не знаете какви са четирите стъпки, може да останете на коктейла също. И а, сега искам да поканя и ме канеш мен и аз събирам дарението. Да. Ще трябва да кажа само две неща за нова година, нова ти, защото сме го обявявали на хората. Да. А, така че това е едното нещо, което ще представя. С линк за регистрация. Другите, да, другите неща са свързани с а, а, конференция Пробуждане и 21 дни на молитва и пост, на който mm-hmm. може просто да го споменем. Ще видим как се движим с време, ако става твърде много, дали няма да го, а, да го казваме, но най-важното е нова година, нова ти, защото не сме го обявявали като дати. to church just began one of the things that will become obvious in this vlog is that I didn't speak so much before the main event and I'm recording this voice over just to tell you a little bit about my logic of preparation I like to keep it as silent as possible and do a fasting from words 
before my sermons. One of the most powerful lessons I ever learned about energy and the power in your voice is that anything that is overused is undervalued. So if you're a speaker, preacher, pastor, or you're using your voice to inspire others, make sure that before you hit the stage, you don't talk to everybody and you don't spend your words. Look at your words as a resource. The more you use it, the less powerful it becomes. So save your words as you prepare to speak and to inspire people, and that way your words will have extra weight and power. So, just finished an incredible Vision Sunday. We had record-breaking attendance. Our ushers had to bring extra chairs during the service. It was just extraordinary. The presence, the power, and just to see the people being touched, inspired, and uh, lifted in spirit to another dimension. Amazing, amazing, amazing. After the meeting, I had to connect and meet with some uh, people and some of the new are members of the church. And so now we are obviously still at the campus. We are getting ready to pack up and go home. It was an incredible day, an incredible vlog, and such a privilege to serve you and help you online. If you love it, like it, share it, comment it, and tell us what would you like to see more in this channel. Um, we will put the name and the face of the winner of my last challenge from my last vlog in the end of this vlog so that they can get the prize uh, having coffee or tea or lunch if they can wait till I finish my fast lunch with me. So it has been an incredible, incredible day. God bless you and see you in the next one.